In the previous session we saw how to get started with CAD.js, install it, create a new project for our demo application. In this session we are going to continue and go over the readme file and see how to create a new test for our demo application. From that point, let's go back to the readme. And uh, let's go to the next section. And then I add a scrap to your code. Okay, in that point, I want to explain to you what scrap is. Scrap is a single unit that you can uh, define in your uh, comments within your application. And it can be code snippet or uh, an assertion or UI test, whatever you like it to be. And then in your test project, you can define a new scenario and bind as many scrap as you want to that scenario and then you can control your test executions so in here you can see that we need to import cat library first there are two methods for doing that the non-amd which is the standard way to import uh, js files to your application the second is the required js file in this case i'm going to take the the non AMD style. I'm going to put it in the header like so. Sorry. I'm going to ident the code so we can read it. So this is the first thing we need to do. So let's go back to the readme and in here you can see add your own scrap let's copy that section and I'll put it in here like so so uh, really with that I'm going to change the comment sign to be an HTML sign and in here I need to tell cut JS engine that that I want to wrap up this code with a script tag so embed true is going to add a script up to this section else than that I'm going to add quotes in here we need to add quotes and that's it I think let's get uh, moving with going into the project because if you want to run a cat CLI command on your test project you need to be in the cat project location actually the cat CLI command is looking for cat project JSON file and now we can go ahead and uh, run cat CLI with minus B for building the application. Now you can see that CatJS added a few more stuff to the Cat project. There is the libraries that CatJS is depending on, and there is the source folder where all the functionality that was generated by CatJS are uh, located, and the target folder. In here you can find uh, your application with the test deployment inside. I just wanted to explain that uh, the application test itself. CatJS have created for us a test folder that contains all the test functionality and libraries that we need. Another missing link is the CatJSON file. I'm going to explain about it later on. And uh, actually when we are loading the test application, the first thing it does, it reads the CAD JSON file, which is uh, the test project. It reads the entire scenarios that it needs to run and uh, all kind of properties that represent the tests. And uh, from that point, he actually load the tests, run them, and in that way, he knows how to test itself. So with that, I'm going to run the server like so. And uh, by default, 
our server is pointing to the target where the test deployment exists. So let's go ahead and go to the browser. If you remember, I set the port to be 8089. And here it is. Here's the, the application. Now let's go to the console and we can see that this is my scrap. This was the the code snippet that we added to the log. This is the, actually the object of the scrap that you can explore. But from that point we didn't do much. But we have a test, right? We didn't actually run test cases but we have prepared our test project. So from that point we can go and uh, and add something to that uh, scrap to be meaningful like I can add a code in that case I'm going to use jQuery so there is a, another annotation that gives you its, its name is context you can uh, expose to the scrap anything you want from your scope so in that case I'm going to expose the dollar sign which is stand for the jQuery library. From that point I can use the dollar sign and ask for um, KJS element. I can go go ahead and and, uh, and point to the element and then I want to click on it. So with that we are going to have a scrap that do an action and clicks an element. Let's go back and in that case I'm going to shut down the server and every time you rebuild your project use C for cleaning the, the functionality that cut just uh, regenerate build again and use A and this is a, a flag for auto test. I'll show you in a minute what it means. So let's hit the enter. The server is up. From that point, we can go ahead and refresh the browser. Now we can see that we have an additional client of CatJS that it runs the operations that we have told him to, to do. And if you have noticed that it, it clicked the element and in here you can see everything it did. In addition, it says in here that the test ends but we didn't have any assertion. So in the next session we are going to see how to create an assertion for our test application. We'll talk about how to create a report, we'll talk about the test project and I'll show you how to use the CutJS runner. Thank you everybody.